Hello friends, welcome to SR Technologies. Today we are going to discuss another real-time interview question, which is asked in one of the company. So let's talk about the question here. So the question here, if you see the question they have asked, write an SQL query to get the output. So the input table which you have here, like these details, okay? Let me get into the Excel. Here you can see input table, this is the output table. Let me get into the Excel, which I have prepared the same here. Okay, when it comes to here, right, input table, input table is having student name and subject and marks. If you observe the student name, you can see a record can have multiple, a, a student name is having multiple times as well as respective subjects. And what are the marks are associated with particular subject. So here, if you see Ravindra Mass 90, Ravindra Mass Science 60, Ravindra Arts 70, these are the subjects which we see. Okay, now they don't want like this, the data. So they wanted to transform the data in a such a way that, okay, every student have a single record. Okay, every student have a single record and the subject should be populated as a columns. For example, here you have a three subjects. If you have more than that, then even that particular thing also should come as a additional column. So now here we can consider the limitation of this problem is they have given only three. So according to that, we'll solve this. So when it comes to this, when it comes to this, just mass is having 90 and mass going to be header, the core, whatever the row which you have here, right? That going to be header and as well as the signs also going to be column name and arts also going to be column name. Whatever the marks which is associated with mass automatically respective value should be there. After this, after done this particular thing, then you have to go ahead and you have to sum it up for each student. For example, if you can calculate it here, 90, 60, 70, which is going to come as 220 is the output. So which, me, which means each student subject name should be populated on top of it. And then on top of it, total of that particular, total of that particular sub overall, that particular ma student marks should be summed up as a total marks, total marks. So that we have done here. But how can we achieve the same thing with SQL? This is the just a problem statement which they have given. So first, what, what we have to do first, we can just get into the, get into the first preparation of this particular thing. Okay. Now I have already created the table with the student mark, student name, with the table name as student marks. And we have a columns are nothing but a three columns are there. Here student name, subject marks. So let's take this one. And we have created all this as well as I have inserted the data, whatever I have done here, right? Whatever I have shown here in the Excel sheet. Same data I have inserted. Let's go ahead and query the query the student marks. Now, how can we solve this? How can we solve this? So simply, if you wanted to see multiple things which you have to observe. So first thing is, if you wanted to populate these values as a separate columns, separate columns, simply you can populate it by using the case statement as well, by using the case statement. How you can do that? Just you can use the case statement and whenever the subject equals to mass, whenever the subject equals to science, whenever the subject equals to arts, then you can populate as an alias column name, alias column name. Let's try to understand here. Okay, simply select, select, okay, select student name. Okay, what is the column name? Student name here. Okay, let's take the student name and then here student name and case when when subject your subject right if you see bottom it is going to be a subject subject equals to mass subject equals to mass okay let let me take according to the data okay subject equals to mass then populate as a populate as marks here marks here just you can mention that and make it end end directly you need not use the else condition there is there is no no need to pass the else condition as mass as mass now mass from from student marks just i wanted to show one column then you will, one subject then you will understand remaining subject so you are going to get like this okay so wherever the mass is there it is going to populate as 90 wherever the null values are there remaining things are going to come as null values because those particular rows doesn't have any any mass subject okay if you understand the data original data on this one, original data going to be like this. You can see here, 
original data first is mass mass going to be populated wherever science and arts will be there that particular thing it is not going to populate any value because that particular row is not containing any math that is the reason you are going to see null value null value so same thing if you can just repeat the same thing with other things okay here okay here let me keep it here comma comma and then here you can see one more comma and then you can see here as subject previously what is that science also let's take that science okay and here you can mention as a science okay in capital letter s c i e n c e okay science okay so here another is arts okay let me make it as arts here arts okay arts now simply you are populating this okay simply you are populating this values now you can see here how it is populating whenever you are populating single column it is going to show like that now if you observe okay first row ravindra is having by default it is considering whatever the values which you are seeing here right previously it is coming as a this way now it is populating i'm populating like this okay how using case condition each column whatever you have here right mass is nothing but a each value here i'm populating as a column by using the case statement i'm making as a alias column name here alias column name same thing with the science and arts now you see here null values are there null values are there to avoid that what we can do simply you can use the max function max function max function if you wanted to use max function max function max is nothing but it is going to give you the max value max value so you can use the max function here max okay then if you wanted to use aggregate function you if you wanted to use aggregate function what you have to do you have to you if you wanted to use aggregate function along with a different column you have to use the even group by clause as well group by clause as well so now what we can do you can use the group by group by what basis you want student level student level so you can mention that student name student name here okay so how you can see now you can see these are the values but this is not going to suffice our requirement so just we have populated whatever the nothing but a here column value whatever the column values are there just we are taking as a column names here we have transposed this we have transposed the data so now what is the additional thing which they have mentioned they want even total as well how can we do that if you wanted to you get the total just you can go ahead and you can use the additional function what is that additional function just it is a sum nothing but a total function just give me a minute this is the wrong place okay so here here you can see you can add here sum sum just you can use the sum of what sum of marks you have to do that right sum of marks if you can do that sum of mark automatically you are going to get the you are going to get the total sum of marks as total total so internally it calculate total and then you can just do the this particular operation this particular operation now you see whatever the whatever you want it here everything you are able to do that to summarize it see simply what you have to do using case statement you can separate the values as a columns just you are keep keeping when subject is match then populate marks and then that particular column whatever the expression which you have done here everything you are populating is a single column okay it is a column okay and then once you populate as a column then on top of it what you are doing you are using the max function because you, when you wanted to get sum of marks and if you wanted to avoid null values and other things you can use the max function even you can use min function also it is going to give you the same result there is no much difference okay so you are going to get the match and second thing with the science as well and arts as well as same thing you have created three columns separate columns using the case statement on top of it once you do this max function then on top of it what you, what basis you wanted to do that based on the student uh, student name only right here you can mention student name or even if you wanted to go with the student id also it is fine now on top of it if you wanted to get the total it is going to do the sum function if you can use it then you are going to get the below result this is the way you have to answer this question 
And one important thing, we are going to start new batch on February 3rd. And please share and subscribe the channel, guys. Thank you.